So, JFP, formerly Jamaica Fiberglass Product Limited, has been <coughs> facing a lot of skepticism by the investment public. I'm just going to do the video to add a little balance to what going on in the market. Already, me already put out a video that deals with or that looks at some of the issues the company might have in the short term and a lot of people see the issues that the company face for the short term because the company as I know is looking to raise working capital because the company is currently has currently run out of cash so a lot of people are kind of skeptical about the company but I'm not really skeptical about it from, from the sense there because you have to read between the lines and look between the figures and see things that other people now say. So let me try quell some of, some, some of your concern that you might have if it is that you are one of them investors uh, who is a bit skeptical about the company. All right, and most of the skepticism, let's say, our ear is coming from or is centered around the company's finance scene. So, let me jump in it. First and foremost, but I say this this company has been around for over 30 years. I'm saying so the company started out in the 80s, and the company has survived over 36 something years. To today's date all right so the first thing we can draw from that is that a lot of company has not survived such long or so long one and two what it is about this company even though people say the financials not look so good what it is that allows this company to still be in existence from in other 80s to now is a question where you must ask. See, so from in the 80s, in the 80s, it wasn't a good time. In a, from them time, there wasn't a good time economically for Jamaica. Worse in the 90s, when we have the banking crisis. And the company has survived those period. And not to mention 2008, where them say are the mother of all recession. The company also survived that period. To know the company buck up on something with them called COVID, which I think are the greatest pandemic ever exists. Seeing and the company, yeah, it, it brings the company to its knees in a sense. But when you look from the figures, I think managers played into this. I'm going to show you why managers played into this. And, and the fact that so managers played into the position that the company is in today, it will tell me something about when management think about the company's ability to pull through this period or this little bump in the road where the company I got you. All right, so if you look at the figures, I'm going to go up on it for the financials then. But you can check my videos and you see all of the financials. I'm going to break it down in a simple way so everybody can understand it. But if you look at the figures, in 2019, the company had it, had it has its best year. See? But if you look at working capital for that year, working capital was some $40 million or $41 million to be exact. So it is fair to assume then that 41 million dollar is a good level of working capital or a comfortable level of working capital. Cool. So now people have said that the, the, the company is strapped for cash because when we look the company has about four hundred thousand dollar, a little bit over four hundred thousand dollar in a in a, in a bank account. So the company really need cash seen but what may I say still is it is not 
due to the company's inability to generate cash. Why the company need cash? And that is very important. So if you check it, the company has our management has intentionally depleted the company's cash balance. People need to look upon them something there. So back in 2020, which is the worst year in terms of economic activities seen and companies such as this one with a lot of fixed costs has fallen over. A lot of companies has fallen over, especially companies that, that, that operates in the furniture market. Seen. Away I say. At that point, manager deliberately use up all of the company cash over thirty eight million dollar. And again, forty forty odd million dollar is a normal working capital, or, 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 or not working capital, but the normal cash amount that can sustain the company. And the management used up $38 million and invest in the stock market. This could be a genius move by management because in, the, in, in 2020, the stock market has tanked and there was a lot of stock selling cheap. See, so manager, knowing that, look, the furniture business is kind of slow now. And there's, there were a lot of delay in some of the contract that managers have, such as the Sansa's airport contract with them have. That has delayed and pushed forward to, I guess, 2020. But managers say, instead of having this amount of cash sitting, not doing anything, when we actually had down skill and a cut staff, why we not capitalize and, and, and the opportunities and managers did just that. See, the so manager used up all of the cash by securities, that is securities trading on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Why would management do such a thing? Very simple. Management is optimistic that it will be able to get some contract in the near future. I guess they are banking on the Sanctions International con Airport contract that can fill back some cash in the business. See? And also, management has the intention to come to market this early. Seen <laughs> so because of that, no management has said, All right, so we have the market where we can go, and the Sanctions International Airport contract can come back just in time. So it is safe to use those cash and just operate on a bare minimum until the IPO happen see so it could it, it's very risky that they do this yeah because it could be that the ipo not turn out as an investor as an investor the ipo so they're not get the cash what they need see but it's a risky move by management but still people must realize that the Manage, manage the business actually have cash that could have sustained the business up until some contracts start flowing back into the business. But management, being the type of management they are, being the type of management that knows the market and knows the business operation or, or the industry in which they operate, was able to take the risk that they have taken. I believe, me believe it, 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 it has a turn out today. 
a genius move on the part of management. See? <laughs> so, it's not as risky as it looks when you look from it from the perspective that management were the one who put the company in the position the company is in and not some external forces beyond management control.